So hi, good day. In this video, we'll be going through the Net2 uh, vision example. So in this video, we'll be using the Net2 documentation, which covers uh, conditioning via vision. And for now, let's just go over to the code. Okay, so as per usual, uh, same as last video, we'll firstly, we will define all our libraries. So in this um, pick and place example, we will be using the NumPy and Maths to convert the data from CI to meters and from degrees to gradient. And we'll be also importing our type libraries from Python, which we will we'll be using for uh, to add the delays in our pick and place program. So firstly, in this program, we will uh, define our workspace name and our robot's IP address. So for the robot's IP address, I put it in a separate uh, uh, Python file, and we will uh, record it to this file. So you know, I think it be a secret. So afterwards, we will include the convert data function, which I did for the past few videos into this program as well, because we want to work with centimeters and degrees instead of meters and radians, because it's hard to visualize. All right, so after including our convert data function, first we will connect to the robot first, and then we will calibrate and update it to if need be. So next, we will define our robot's uh, uh, position, uh, the home position, the observation position, and to the drop position where it will uh, be in the up state and in the down state. The up state where it will just be in that position, but uh, it's elevated at a height of 25 cm. And when we want to put our uh, object down, it will go to this down position at 15 cm. So afterwards, we will define two variables. Uh, Based on example, so we will define a max catch count and a counter variable called catch count. So in this uh, max catch count, we define uh, we have established the robots to only pick up four objects from the workspace, and then we have a counter variable here to count how many times the robot has catch the object. So afterwards, we'll go, we'll move, uh, we'll move to this. Uh, in this while where most of the processes are happening. So in the while loop while catch count less than four, the robot will first release the tool. And this is because we want the robot to have a clear vision on all the four points in the workspace. So that's the very uh, important thing to take note. The robot has to detect all the four points first before it can detect the, the object in the workspace. So that's why we have to go to a, a optimal observation position and then we will unclamp the two so that the, the robot has has vision on all the four points in the workspace. So after trial and error I find out that 40 cm off the ground is the optimal position for a robot to detect all the four points of the workplace. So after which the robot will go to the observation position and initiate the vision pick and place. So in this uh, vision pick and place, all the image processing has been done by in the by neural libraries. So let's take a look at this vision pick. Uh, it's an API and a source of function. So let's head over to the browser. Okay, so we are in the browser, and this is the function that we are going to use, which is the uh, vision pick. So it has only four variables. So it has, uh, you need to include the workspace name, the height and the offset. Uh, height offset basically uh, what's the height of the object and from the ground. Like if the object is too tall, you can offset it with this. If uh, other than that, just keep it as zero. And then we have uh, we can define the object shape, whether it's a square or circle. And we can also define the color of the object, red, green, and blue. So how does this function work is actually in the document itself. So firstly, we'll detect the object and then we'll prepare the tool for picking and then we'll move to the object coordinate and then we'll move down to pick the object 
and you will just lift the object. So it stops here at the lifting the object. So that's why we need to define uh, the drop coordinates where we will drop our object. Okay, so let's go back to the to the program. Okay, we are back to the program. So afterwards, we have this condition. If there's no object found, it will continue to loop. Else, if there is an object, we will go to the drop location here, which is defined as place up at x equal to 0, y equal to 25, and at the elevation of 25 cm from the ground. Then we will move the object, and then we will wait one second before we proceed to go down and place the object. So over here, we will, uh, we will command robot to go down, wait one second again, and then it will release the tool to release the object. And afterwards, after all these processes are done, uh, we will increment our counter by, uh, by one. And then we will print this, uh, we will print a message in our terminal, uh, object count equal to how many. So it will keep con uh, it will continue until catch count is uh, is equal to uh, is equal to how much we have defined here. So that is the summary of the uh, the program, and here's a short video on how on how it works. So enjoy. Okay, so with that, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Net2 uh, Vision Pick and Place uh, example. And if you enjoy it, do give it a like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section below. And if that's all, uh, see you next week because we will delve into a more, uh, more fun project next week with the Net2 Vision Pick and Place. Alright, see you then. Bye-bye.